This video right here, American Bullet Train Great Crossing Part 3, was supposed to be a video where I explain how the railroad crossing is so loud that even if you're as distracted as you can legally be, which is driving while listening to music or something, the railroad crossing st would still draw your attention and, it, and you would still know to stop in time. But unfortunately, because of the music that was in the video, there's a... The audio was muted. Let's see. It says audio muted due to claim. And here is the claim. Homemade Kazoku Nagareboshi shooting star. And so on and so forth. However, that's just one of the six songs that I use in the video. And I doubt it, and it doesn't really deserve muting the entire video. In fact, in addition to the songs, and there's a lot of other audio that belongs to me that was muted as well. For example, you can leave it in the comments to see if you really think he had the right to, um, uh, to mute this audio. But here's some of the audio that uh, he muted that, um, well, he or she, because you don't really know if it's a boy or a girl. Here's some of the audio that they muted that did not belong to them. For example... They muted the sound of the train, which they definitely did not own. Another thing they muted was this. They muted the horn of the train, which they also didn't own. And here's another thing they muted. They muted the bell of the train, which they also don't own. And here's something else they muted. Yep, they muted the bullet train horn, which they also don't own. Here's something else they muted that they don't own. By the way, I added a pedestrian uh, crossing to this. They muted the sound of the car horn. Actually, this is a truck. In the other video, I was using a car. But they muted that too, even though they don't own it. And I finally figured out how to get the traffic lights to change in time. Man, that other railroad crossing has a really loud bell. I'm gonna replace it sooner or later. Anyway, another thing that they muted was the sound of the railroad crossing, which they also don't own.
They also made it the sound of the train blowing its horn for a railroad crossing. I'm going to change the sound of that railroad crossing later. Now, the copyright law say, uh, says that you can use copyright material for the purpose of proving a point. And in my opinion, I think this was proving a point. I was proving the point that the railroad crossing was loud enough to grab your attention even if you were distracted by something like music, like if you were listening to it in your car stereo. I think this fell under that category, but unfortunately, I can't defend this because I can't afford to go to court. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, they also muted my voice in that video. Anyway, one thing I don't understand about copyright law is how come, is why, why is they only, um, why is it that that video got flagged because of copyright material, but I have lots of other videos with lo with logos from other companies and those don't get flagged, for example. See, in this video, Norfolk Southern's horse head logo is easily visible. But it doesn't the video doesn't get flagged by Norfolk Southern saying that um I use their logo without their permission. And and you can also over here you can also clearly see their logo on the side of the train. But the video still doesn't get flagged for that reason. In this video, you can, you can clearly see the Norfolk Southern Horsehead logo, but the video does not get flagged by Norfolk Southern because of using their logo without their permission. Also, you can also clearly see the logo on the side of the train, but still, the video doesn't get flagged. And not only that, you can clearly see the J.B. Hunt logo as well. In fact, sometimes I wonder if copyright law only... Um, focuses on stuff like music and TV shows because I have a lot of videos with all kinds of logos on them and they don't get flagged. In the thumbnail image I used for this video this tram has the um, Solaris logo from a Polish tram company but this video doesn't get flagged for having the Solaris logo on it. In this video, the CSX logo is clearly visible, but this doesn't get flagged by CSX. Or Union Pacific. Or Union Pacific. Or TTX. Or ETTX. All companies whose logos are visible in this video. And BNSF. And Ferromex. And Norfolk Southern and Federal Max and a bunch of other companies. In this video, I use the word 1998 and Buick and Park Avenue, but it doesn't get flagged by Buick, probably because I was using it to make a point, and that is l perfectly legal. I also have a lot of videos from this uh, from this um, Trains a New Era Community Edition game, and none of them are flagged either. Even the ones where I, uh, even the ones where I gave the game a bad a, a bad review because of certain uh, things that weren't working right on it. 
In this video, I use truck trailers that have the FedEx Ground, FedEx Freight, FedEx Home Delivery, Schneider, and Penske logo on them, but this video was never flagged either, so it doesn't, it seems kind of contradictory in my opinion. On this video, I featured the Blue Comet locomotive, which was, which is a payware add-on to my train simulator, and this video wasn't flagged either. And neither were any of these videos from Classic Cavon City, if I pronounced it right. This is the only one that, that was flagged, even though I was just using the music to uh, prove a point, which is perfectly legal. This video uses the New Jersey Transit logo multiple times and hasn't been flagged for New Jersey Transit. And uh, in this video, I point out certain con seats that New Jersey Transit has that I either like or hate. And uh, I also used to, I also had another video where I reviewed a movie and um, basically pointed out certain things that would or wouldn't happen in real life and things that weren't consistent with the story it was based on. And that one was removed too. It wasn't it wasn't just muted. It was completely blocked and. Um, that one I, I don't think should have been blocked because um, because the copyright law allows you to use copyrighted materials for making a review as well, and that's pretty much what I, and for the and for the purpose of criticism, which is exactly what I was doing. And because of that stupid copyright claim, I can't upload this video because it's longer than 15 minutes, and they put a limit on how long you can upload something until like. And it doesn't expire until August.